Welcome to Make Something with me, David Pacito, and today we're gonna to make this super fun and easy felt board sign. Stick around to see how we do it. Today's video is sponsored by Graphic Stock. If you subscribe to my second channel, Make Something 2, you may have seen the vlog where Eric and I go to the antique store. And while at the antique store, we came across this menu board. So I'm gonna use this as inspiration for today's project. I made a test piece here on my table saw, ran a few grooves, I thought this would be the way to go, and then insert some felt in there. Turns out that that groove made by the table saw blade is still too wide and it doesn't hold the piece. So instead, what we're going to do is we're gonna cut a whole bunch of little thin strips so then we can make that groove any size that we want to fit our little pieces. So I have this 1 8 inch piece of maple here that I'm gonna cut into 16 inch wide pieces and then turn them around and then rip them into small little pieces for the board. Looks like each piece is about 3 16 of an inch. Got this piece of masonite here. I'm gonna use this as the backing board. I'm gonna cut it to the rough size here on the table saw. So after a couple failed attempts, I think I found the way to actually glue these up. I'm gonna do them in gangs of five. I have my pieces here with spacers in between them. And I'm just gonna run beads of glue in here and glue it down. these spacers out. There we go. All the spacers are is just these guys doubled up so I can grab them out of there. Eric and I are developing a faster way of gluing this up. So we're putting our spacers in. And what we're doing is just dumping the glue in there like this. And blow it into the cracks. All right, last set here. Where all the spacers were, I'm just going to run some glue in there. Just let it seep into the cracks. All right, we'll let that dry. Then we'll clean up these edges and we'll start sticking the felt in there. So we're gonna cut a piece of felt that's oversized and we're just going to pinch it in there. Uh, probably do one, one row at a time, throw a little bit of glue in there. Dude, I don't know. I think it'll be easier to cut it to the exact width than try to cut it down to width at, after it's inserted in there. I don't know. I mean, somebody will let me know in the comments down below that I'm doing this wrong. What do you think? Spray adhesive or glue? Super glue. Spray adhesive. All right, let's give it a shot. So I had the brilliant idea of using a butter knife instead. <clears throat> uh, uh, Eric had the brilliant idea of using a butter knife. Here we go, look at that. I'd like to take a second to talk to you about today's sponsor and that is Graphic Stock. Graphic Stock has the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, vectors, and images on the internet. 
Most websites charge per image or graphic and can cost up to as much as $30 each and those costs add up quickly. With Graphic Stock, you get unlimited downloads with your membership. Viewers of this show get a free seven day trial in which you can download 140 pieces of content. You can also sign up for their annual plan, which is $99 for unlimited access to over 300,000 plus images and graphics. All memberships come with a 100% royalty free agreement and this means that you cannot get sued by the copyright holders for use and you can use the content in your commercial projects. Go to graphicstock.com slash YouTube or click in the link in the description box below to get your exclusive seven day free trial to Graphic Stock. All right, so here's how I'm using Graphic Stock in today's project. I'm gonna fancy up my frames with some corners here. I went to Graphic Stock, I did a search for borders and corners and came up with these vectors right here. I downloaded it, I modified it a little bit to my needs in Illustrator so I wouldn't have any small thin lines. I then set it to my laser cutter to cut this out of a veneer and then we're going to glue this onto the frame once we get the frame made. I thought it would also be fun to do a search for faces and I found some that I liked. I printed them out. I then used some spray adhesive to attach that to a thin piece of wood and then cut out all the parts on the bandsaw. I added a little bit of Velcro on the back and it attaches easily to this felt board. So check this out. Every day I can change the mood of the face on how I'm feeling. Isn't that fun? It's time to build a frame for this guy and finish this up. Here we go. All right, there it is. That was super fun and awesome, right? The letters in here are from the board that came from the antique store. They fit in there just fine. I also got some of these letters here from Amazon. They're smaller. You can get a lot more in there. As you can see, they don't fit in there as well, but they will work. Yeah, super cool. These letters, there's definitely a tighter fit. They also work in this board here. So the plan is this board is going to get permanently hung up top here. I think we're gonna make this all a bookshelf and I'm gonna have all my books and magazines back here. And then I will have secret messages to you guys, my top Patreon supporters, uh, a fun little, fun little, maybe some hidden things on there. The middle part is going to be removed and I'm gonna have my logo here. Don't know when that project's gonna be, soon enough, I suppose. I'll probably reclaim the wood that's here. This is just like the tongue and groove board and use that to make the shelf that's gonna go back here. Pretty happy with this. I'm not sure where this is going to go. This is probably going to go in my office. I would like to thank Graphic Stock for supporting this video. I use their website to make these fun little face graphics here. <laughs> I like that. We got some eyebrows. You can change up the face. Even just moving the eyebrows on around a little bit changes the mood of it. Got, got a different mouth here. Grr, I love making. Grr. All right, so that's fun. So. Uh, once again, there'll be a link down in the description for your free seven day trial for Graphic Stock. I'd like to thank this week's top Patreon supporters. That's Derek Jacobson, Jonathan J. Katz Moses, Chad Forrester, Timothy Allen, and Nathan Bird. If you'd like to find out how you can support me, visit patreon.com slash Pachudo. Also on my website at makesomething.tv, I have signed copies of both of my books available, as well as some t-shirts and some sweatshirts. That is it folks. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this, give me that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here hit that notification bell if you want to get notified when new videos come out i will be responding to some way shape or form the first 100 comments of this video let me know in the comments down below how you would modify this board what graphics and stuff would you make along with the letters thanks guys we'll see you next time as always be safe have fun stay passionate and make something